And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, a good Saturday morning, mid-Michigan. I hope your weekend is getting off to a good start. Well, we've got some good weather starting off this morning, feeling a little more like fall, actually, on this last day of July. Now, we do have some rain chances for this afternoon and evening. However, it's not going to be an all-day rain, not going to be a widespread soaking rain either. So that is the good news. We'll get to that in just a second, but right now, starting off with this live look out over Mount Pleasant. This is from Moore Hall on CMU's campus. We can see a nice, quiet morning here in Mount Pleasant. Just a couple of those higher-level clouds filtering through. We have a little bit of a haze out there too this morning because of that wildfire smoke, but still overall more sunshine than anything else uh, this morning. The first one five pinpoint Doppler live from MBS is all quiet this morning as well, but it is zooming out on the first one five sky tracker. We can see there are some uh, thunderstorms, also some rain up in the upper peninsula that's associated with this low pressure system. It's a weak low pressure system and it'll slowly unravel into mid Michigan as we go throughout the daytime hours today. That cold front passing through and that's where our shower chance comes from, but again, not an all day rain, actually more spotty in coverage. I'll show you that here in just a second in the first one five hour by hour. We'll first see that we're mostly sunny for the rest of the morning and for your lunch time, but it's around dinner time, around five o'clock. That cold front's going to start moving into our northern counties, kicking up some of those showers, a couple of rumbles of thunder in there as well, and that'll just be moving from north to south through our viewing area. So this is by eight o'clock. Some of that activity closer to the Tri Cities, also into the Thumb, and then by midnight into the first part of the overnight. Some of that activity still lingering. Then the remainder of the overnight, we actually do look to dry out for the most part, and we're just mostly cloudy skies. On Sunday, we will see some more pop up showers once again, but still very isolated in coverage. The overwhelming majority of us staying dry. We're also cooler tomorrow, too, so I don't even think that we'll see any thunderstorm activity, more of just a couple of sprinkles uh, here and there. Rain totals today, too. Again, I just want to show you this at just how spotty this rain really is going to be today. We're talking only a couple hundredths of an inch up to around a tenth of an inch. If you even do see any activity uh, in the first place, some of those more moderate downpours could put down uh, more towards two tenths of an inch to a quarter of an inch, but again, overall not a soaking rain, so I wouldn't exactly cancel any outdoor plans today. Just make sure you do have a radar uh, on hand if you are spending any time uh, outside. That humidity level today also staying pretty comfortable with dew points only reaching about 60 degrees at the very worst, and even through uh, the first part of this work week too, that humidity staying pretty low, that tropical air mass just staying well off to our south, so we'll actually be staying a little more pleasant as far as that humidity goes. There's your forecast though today and tonight a high of 79 degrees, a little breezy at times. Tonight we settle down to around 60 degrees, give or take a couple of degrees depending on your location. And also this evening, we are looking to have some more wildfire smoke moving into our atmosphere uh, towards this evening again there. So we will have a photogenic sunset. So if you do get any pictures of that, we'd love to see them and we might even show them tomorrow morning on wake up. So just something to look out for if you are a photographer and you do like to get some of those uh, smoky sunset photos. So that seven day forecast looking great. Our only rain chances for today and for tomorrow. The next work week, really, we're looking at dry conditions, mostly sunny or partly cloudy, depending on the day. Comfortable temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s, Trevor.